this is Brad Tammet and today I'll be doing the Major League Soccer or the MLS, the American MLS for Giovinco 86 and you get 25k coins so I'm going to try and submit all the teams for this all that's been completed, I'm going to submit them to get the packs I'm going to open up the packs because I'm not going to save any of these packs for Team of the Year which comes out in about 2 or 3 days so, so the first one, uh, Atlanta United wasn't too expensive, wasn't overly expensive um, which is good. Chicago Fire, I had a lot of the players from Chicago Fire, I just had to buy um, Schweinsteiger to get the rating up. So that's Chicago Fire submitted. Now we get into Colorado Rapids, that's the next one, and that one's um, pretty cheap too. Most of the teams are probably less than 10k each. So it's only going to cost you about 100 and probably 120k, 130k. It's not as expensive as you might expect. Um, the Columbus Crew, that's probably a little bit expensive because um, some of the silvers are a little bit higher in price. But they'll probably come back down anyway. Then we go DC United. DC United's also pretty cheap because the silver cards, there's a lot of common silver cards, so they're pretty cheap too. And we get a premium gold pack for that. We go to the F, uh, FC Dallas, and Dallas is also pretty cheap. There's one gold, and the rest are pretty much the bronzes, but the bronzes right now are pretty, pretty cheap also. Then we get into the Houston Dynamo. And Houston Dynamo is literally just nothing really. It's just so easy to that one to complete because it's literally just scrapes for the silver cards, which are really cheap, like 200, 300 coins or 800 coins for like a silver card. Then Los Angeles uh, Galaxy or the LA Galaxy, that's pretty cheap too, except for maybe one of the two of the bronzes that they're like a bit expensive, like about 2 or 3k. Um, Minnesota United, that's also um, pretty cheap. And you get a, a small rare bronze players pack. That'll be good. If there's any other league SBCs for the Pro League or the um, what else is it, the J League, that might come out later on. They'll be that, those packs are really good. Like all these silver packs, you're going to get are good for other league SBCs that will come out. So if you save them, save the players for those leagues, it'll be good for you to complete them. Easy done because you've got all the silver cards for that league anyway. So all the packs are helping you out. So we just completed New Rev New England Revolution. Now we're doing the New York City. New York City with Dav V, I guess the rating up. Um, that's also pretty cheap. It's not, nothing really. It's not really expensive. If you have the coins, you've got like 100k coins or 120k coins. It's pretty cheap. It's pretty straightforward. It's not going to cost you as much as the Calcio A. The Calcio A is still like 250k. Um, but Orlando City, that's also pretty cheap. And also I want to talk about is Team of the Year. I'm going to do a big pack opening for Team of the Year next week. I'm going to try and do at least 50,000 FIFA points maybe. Could do a little bit less, maybe about 48,000 or 50,000 or even 60,000 FIFA points. Because I want to be able to get myself a good Team of the Year card. I got one last year, but I didn't, it wasn't really that good. But this year I want to be able to get a really high rate player like a, a Messi or a Ronaldo or just anyone good like a Sergio Ramos or Marcelo. Just someone that's better in value or better card. And so we just submitted uh, Real Salt Lake, and then we're doing San Jose Earthquake. San Jose Earthquakes is also pretty cheap. Um, if you do the bronze pack method, like I said before in other videos, bronze pack method will give you silver cards um, also in the pack with bronze cards. Your silver base cards are some all appear in bronze packs also. Um, submitting uh, Seattle Sounders, that's another one done. Sporting KC is also cheap. Um, yep, yeah, just a couple of silvers, a rare silver and a gold, which is good. But the problem is, um, some of those golds have transferred, like transferred different clubs. Um, so some of the golds and silvers that have transferred away from the MLS will be a higher in value right now. So if you had those players in your club that have already transferred, um, you might want to sell them off, or you could submit them in for the SBC anyway. But they might be in higher in price because they're actually still in the MLS anymore. So we submitted the last one which was uh, white caps, and now we're going to get the Giovinco, so Major League Soccer completed, we get the Giovinco 86, it's not a bad looking card, his pace is a bit weak compared to last year, his pace was like a 90 pace last year, and it was a centre forward, but uh, this year it's okay, it's probably good for a cam, um, you could probably whack a hunter card on him, or a shadow, or you probably wouldn't want to whack an anchor on him, but I mean you could have a shadow, or a hunter card on him, or a hawk, that would look pretty good on his card too, his stats are great, um, besides the pace, but everything else is pretty good. So now we're going to go straight into the packs. So after completing the Major League Soccer um, SBC, this pack right here, one of the highlights, I'm just going to show you the highlights. We get an Inform, it's an Italian Inform. I was like, it's going to be a big one. It's a goalkeeper, and it's from Genoa, and it's Perrin. Perrin's not bad, but I mean, he's like 30k, he was nothing when I packed him at the time. I sold him off for like 30k. That was one of the highlights. 
and parent informed is not a bad inform to be honest to get an inform at 7.5 cafe which is great so it may, helps me make the money back which is good okay so these uh, small prime electron player packs that open up right now in, on a, in a row um, I get some boards the first board player that I get out of this one is a Spanish a center mid I thought it was Mini Esther, but it was Ander Herrera. He still goes for like five, six thousand coins, I think, which is not bad. So he gets some money back from that. And then after him, so he placed all those to the transfer market. And after this pack, we managed to get another board in a row from a small Prime Election Players pack. It's not too bad, also. I'm pretty sure it's a French one. French. I thought it was going to be like Kante or someone else. It was French, left wing, and then I knew it was Depay because there's only one left wing that's in the game. And it's Depay, that's a board. And he goes for like 4k or even less than that now. But he's good for SBCs, so it's good. I get some extra coins back and he can help me out with SBCs or I want to um, use some him in. Then the next one, we got another board. And this one's, a, I think this is a big board too. I th think this is um, a walkout, I think. It's not Spanish, it's a cam. Thought it was going to be David Silva, but it wasn't. It was Juan Hamata. So we got both the Manchester United players, the two center mids, really. And he goes for like 4 or 5k too, which isn't bad. So we send those to the transfer market. Then we get into the next pack, which is another board. I was really astonished with the packs of giving out. What, another board? So it's four boards in a row. And here's the walkout. Now, I thought this was going to be um, Modric because everyone does, and it was Ivan Rakitic. I always keep seeming to pack this year on FIFA 18. I keep packing Ivan Rakitic. What, even 87 again? He goes for like 20k, 25k ish, I think. He doesn't go for too much, but still, at least it's number 87 rated. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all the highlights for the packs. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be trying to upload as con like as consistent as possible or when I can. I hope you enjoyed the video. So, comment, like, and subscribe again, and I'll see you guys